Last time, our hero Bolton Granger faced a harrowing decision. For those of you that don't know what harrowing means, it means fateful. For those that don't know what fateful is, look it up. After his homemade airplane split into a rough landing, he had to decide which remaining items to take as he continued his quest. This week, a new hero stakes a claim for the treasure on only Hero's Journey. A beautiful lake reflects a massive canopy of trees as we journey down a lonely dirt road. Bulldozers and building materials tower over the landscape as a group of people stand protesting the workers. A slight but strong-spirited visage springs into action, plows through the crowd, climbs the tallest of the machines, and shouts, I am Sierra Cali, and we should teach Leave No Trace. We should indulge the beauty that we have been gifted for our protection. Her shouts are quickly muffled as the crowd swells. Callie takes a hold of a megaphone and climbs now to the roof of the bulldozer, calling out with a fierce cry. The masses stop. The chatter ends as both groups edge forward to hear this young firecracker explode with the wisdom reserved for those much more experienced. What do you see when you look in the mirror? I see my home. I see our home. We must act now or face destruction. We must be strong. We must stand as one. We must protect Mirror Lake. Only Hero's Journey will continue after a short word from our sponsors. Days of non-stop hits all in one box, including a special ticket for a BB gun and archery day, yeah. foam dart shooters, and safety goggles. Oh, yeah. Hours of the freshest activities of the summer. Original camp cooking recipes. Yeah. Scavenger hunt, nature Ooh. adventures with binoculars included. If you want to go to day camp, you better invite some better friends. Invite some camp friends. will last forever, but the friendships never end. Groove to the tune of video activity links and mystery items. Oh. You won't find this one in any stores. Now that's what I call Cub Scout Day Camping! I'm a sucker for camp. All the activities are super awesome, yeah. To order, go online to lasalcouncilbsa.org slash cdc. Come day camp. And now our adventures continue. Callie was starting to grow fond of the small community of people who continued to make the trip to Mirror Lake to help with protests she secretly organized. But for now, it was a lone five-mile hike back home. Well, the closest thing to her true home for the time being. A little abandoned cabin nestled in the woods of Mirror Lake that once held fond memories, but now stood as a vacant reminder of the past. Her dad would hardly notice. Being on the road, he wouldn't be back to her home for another month. That traveling band of forest fighters, as Callie liked to call them, was the closest thing to family she had found of late. They'd even given her a nickname, <laughs> Little Bear. The youngest member of the group by far, Callie loved the excitement of captivating an entire group of true adults. But for now, walking. Good, well, it'd give her plenty of time to think. Date, time, location, flashing over and over again. There was no puzzle to Uncle L's last gift. Growing up next door, he was the closest thing Callie had to a real grandfather. Uncle L would often babysit while Callie's father was out of town, surprising her with mysteries to solve or treasure hunts through the neighborhood. He was the only adult Callie could ever really count on. And then, when she was 11 years old, he died. Immediately, things changed. Until yesterday. I took a swim at my favorite spot in Mirror Lake. The river flows down from the hills above, forming a beautiful waterfall splashing down into the lake. A set of cliffs and rocks makes a fun launch pad for adventurous divers looking to cool off on a hot summer day. I had just taken such a daredevilish leap when I noticed it blinking beneath the surface. I couldn't help but wonder if the blinking was meant for me. <laughs> I tried diving and diving again, but each time it was just out of reach. I sighed, focusing on my swimming, breathing, and diving, but it was still out of reach. I spent over an hour until I had the perfect idea, a homemade magnet fork. Hopefully whatever was down there was part metal. 
I plunged into the blue abyss, still a bit cold on this late spring day, arms stretching towards the object. And sure enough, <laughs> the item attached as I propelled myself to the surface. My reward was something tremendous. A last gift from Uncle L. A glowing orb shining bright blues and golds, completely smooth. The only markings were the initial CC in a strange looking pattern that appeared to be some sort of keyhole. I swam to shore, mind pulsing with excitement, racing home. I cut south using a lightly traveled deer trail through the north boundary woods. A lost thought streaked across my mind as a massive maple branch jumped out in front of me, <laughs> sending me crashing to the ground. Sometimes all the pieces spilling onto the floor helps to arrange them in a newfound way. That thought was a little more clear now. The hole on the orb was in the shape of Mirror Lake, and I had just the key for it. A spoon that was given to me on my 10th birthday while Uncle El and I ate ice cream at the Whippy Dip. He had joked at the time, This is the key to a great life. I thought he meant the ice cream, but the spoon's handle was in the shape of Mirror Lake. Mmm, ice cream. I could... Anyway, I stood, dusting the ground from me, woods eerily quiet. The pieces now made sense, and the finish line was in sight. I sprinted home to find my key and claim my reward. I leapt through the cabin door, throwing open my small box of musk heaps, shoved the key into the hole on the orb, and... Victorious! The orb creaked open, inscribed with the GPS location, date, and a clock ticking down an unknown deadline. It contained only a thin, flat piece of metal, like nothing I could find online. My eyes treated to the wonders of crystallized purples, greens, and browns cutting through a platinumed metallic base, radiating like a galaxy trapped inside of a marble. But all that could wait for now. Callie had that same ugly feeling she had been getting all day. Like a crack of thunder in the middle of the night. Someone or something was watching. Crawling beneath the dark blanket of the nighttime forest, Stalking was more like it. She shuddered away the paranoid thoughts of who or what just as the cabin came into view. Those thoughts and anything else could wait. For now was sleep and the refuge of a forgotten cabin. Nestled in the warm blanket of cool sheets deep in the heart of the valley that fed Mirror Lake. Slowly drifting back from her dream river until... Stunned, but now alert, realizing it was neither the crack of dawn nor her alarm playing, but something much worse. Luckily, Uncle L had always made sure I was prepared before leaving for any outing. I am glad I listened and stayed disciplined. You never want to get caught in a canoe with no oars, he always said. She quietly grabbed the backpack as she could feel the intruder drawing near, but hesitation. Someone must have seen me find the orb. Well, I have one little trick up my sleeve before I go. Here's a stinging surprise. Still, her mind wandered. Date, time, location. Six hours left. Join us next time. Same hero time, same hero channel. As our adventures continue on only Hero's Journey. Boys and girls, for more information on how to join the Boy Scouts of America, you have two options. You may, with your parents' help, go to beascout.scouting.org and enter in your zip code. Your second option is to visit us at www.lasallecouncilbsa.org. We look forward to hearing from you.